Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel, my name is Coral. So in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to do this self-tanning method that I saw on TikTok. So just some background information, I've never gone to a tanning salon before, I've never gotten a professional spray tan, I've also never tried any at-home self-tanning methods before, so I don't really have a lot of experience that I'll be able to compare this to. So I feel like my review of this product and this method will just be a good glimpse of like how easy it is for a beginner to try. Hello. Show your face. <laughs> so I had seen a bunch of TikToks where people were recommending the Isla Paradise self-tanning water and they were basically putting that in a spray bottle that they got off of Amazon and just spraying their body and waiting for it to develop. And that looks like a really easy and like clean way of self-tanning compared to other methods that I'd seen where you use like a mitt and mousse. So I was really interested in that and then I came across another video where this girl recommended instead of the Isle of Paradise self-tanning water to use this Norvell solution. In her video she said that this is actually the solution that most professionals use to do spray tans. I think one of the things that makes this a lot better of an option especially for beginners compared to the Isle of Paradise water is this one comes out purple so you can actually see where you're spraying. And I was also reading on their website that that violet color helps to like counteract any orange undertones that might appear. So after seeing that TikTok, I was really interested. I wanted to try it out. So I went on Amazon and I bought this bottle here. This whole bottle for 30 floor fluid ounces is $55. I was reading in the description that this product has a shelf life of only around seven months from its production date to expiration date. So this isn't really something that you could buy and then use two summers in a row. You kind of have to use it within that seven month period. So I bought the Venetian solution and they had a couple different options. It really just depended on like what level of tan you wanted to see and also how much time you're willing to wait for it to develop. If anyone is curious, it says it's paraben free, gluten free, cruelty free, sulfate free, nut allergy free, non -com non comedogenic and 100% vegan. <laughs> comedogenic, non comedogenic. I feel stupid. I feel like I should be able to pronounce this. <laughs> non comedogen I'm not even gonna try. Also, apparently when you go to get a spray tan, there's like a really distinct smell that maybe isn't that great. Um, I was just reading in the description and they say that these solutions are fragrance-free with the essence of Paradise Breeze, a deliberate fragrance combination that actually helps to eliminate that dreaded sunless tanning smell. So I bought this and then I went on Amazon and I also got a spray bottle to go with it. And this was $12.99 and it holds five ounces. So right now I just have some water in this bottle so that way I could test out on camera how it's going to spray because when I actually do the self tanning application I'm going to do that in my shower off camera so that way I don't make a mess everywhere. Alright, let's see what this does. Wow. That let out a lot of mist actually and that was just holding it down one time. So with this self tanning method the things that I'm most curious about are number one, how easy is the application going to be? Is this something that I can just do on my own or do I need another person to really help me out? Two, how time consuming is it going to be? I don't know how long the actual application of the product is going to be but then after you apply it I think you have to wait eight hours for it to develop and then you can shower it off. Three and probably most importantly is there going to be any transfer onto like my clothing and my sheets? I really don't want to have like brown or orange streaks on any of my clothes and sheets and I have heard that that happens with other self tanning methods so if that happens even with this I probably won't continue using it. Four, how long are the results going to last? Obviously I don't want them to last for just a day. I don't really think it's going to be worth the effort I put in then. And five, how is it going to fade? Am I going to look streaky? Is it going to look splotchy in areas? So these are the things that I'm really trying to figure out. All right, I'm going to read the instructions now. It says the DHA will begin to activate within two to four hours after application. Do not bathe, shower, or sweat for at least eight hours after application. Avoid chlorinated pools for 18 hours. Brown cosmetic bronzers will wash away during first shower. Full DHA results will develop within 18 to 24 hours. Results should last five to seven days. And it also says the use of nose filters, eye shields, protective undergarments, and lip balm are recommended before applying the spray to the body. So my plan is I'm basically going to self-tan everything from the neck down. I'm not going to do anything on my face because I wear a full face of makeup pretty much every single day so I don't really see the point. All right so the first thing it says to do is put the liquid into the spray gun and it says you need two to two and a half ounces for the average 150 pound person. Applying too much solution will cause the tan to look unnatural. Keep the gun six inches away from the skin. Spray in a smooth sweeping motion beginning and ending each spray pass off of the skin. Increase spray distance to 12 to 14 inches when spraying face, hands, and feet. Unused solution may be stored in an airtight container and reused within a 24 hour period. So since I'm not tanning my whole body I'm really just gonna be focusing on like my arms my shoulders and my legs just the area that would be seen if I was wearing like a t-shirt and shorts I don't think I need the full two to two and a half ounces so I'm gonna probably start with at least one ounce and then I could always add more all right I just emptied my little spray bottle so now I'm gonna pour in the solution 
I'm scared I'm gonna spill this everywhere. It smells really good actually. It smells kind of coconutty. All right, so this is a five ounce bottle and I really only need like one ounce. So I'm only gonna put a tiny amount in the bottom. Oh God. I think that's a good start. In this bottle, it looks a little brown, but So I was reading online that the best way to prepare your skin for self tan is that 24 hours prior you want to exfoliate your whole body, shave and put lotion on. So I did that last night. It hasn't been exactly 24 hours. It's been a little less than that, but I'm hoping that that has set me up for like a smooth application. All right, I'm gonna take my little spray bottle. I'm gonna head to the shower and start the application. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I took off all my jewelry before I did this, including my engagement ring because I did not want them to turn brown or purple um, so this is what my skin looks like about 15 minutes after spraying. Overall, I have like a brownish tone to me and it also is really streaky in some areas. I'm hoping that's not like poor application. That's just the name of the game. So when I put the liquid in the spray bottle, I probably only put in like an ounce. Um, but when I tried to spray it, nothing was really coming out. I realized that I had to fill it up a little bit more. So I ended up filling that bottle about halfway and I've used almost all of it on like everything from the neck down. I also realized that this is not a one person job. Like I tried to spray my own arms, which went okay. But then when it comes to the legs, you have to keep the bottle upright. If you turn it upside down, it doesn't spray. So I had to ask my fiance to help spray me down. The shower looks really bad right now. Um, I'll try to insert a photo if I can. It made a mess is what I'm trying to say. Like you do not want to stand in the middle of a room and just spray yourself down. Like I definitely recommend doing it somewhere that you don't care about the surroundings. So now the instructions say I wait eight hours and after that I can shower all this off and hopefully it's going to be like a smooth even coloring but who knows. I tried to do just from the neck down like I didn't want anything on my face but like my neck is really patchy right now so that might be something that I have to fix with makeup. We'll see. I literally just threw on like a black shirt and black pants that I don't care about and I'm sitting on a towel so I don't get this stuff everywhere. As time goes on, it's getting like a little sticky and then eventually it's just soaking into my skin. So I'm hoping it won't transfer onto anything. I think if you were gonna do this, the best method would be to do it right before you go to sleep and then you just sleep for eight hours and wake up and shower off because now I have to be really conscious about everywhere I sit and everything that I touch, not to like transfer any of this color onto anything. I'm also assuming that this is not safe for cats. So like if they tried to lick me, I have to be very conscious about that and not let that happen. But yeah, it is really patchy in some areas, especially as I was doing my legs, like it started to run, like it was creating streams down my legs. So I don't know what that's gonna turn out like. So I will be back in eight hours. All right, so it has been about eight hours since I put the self tanning solution on my body. Um, when I first got done doing it, it felt really sticky and it was kind of transferring onto other things. So like the first hour afterwards, I just like carried a towel around with me and sat on it everywhere that I went. Um, now that a lot of time has passed, it is all dry. Like you could touch it against anything and it's not going to come off. The way it looks right now is honestly not that great. Um, it is really streaky and splotchy in a bunch of areas. So I'm hoping that when I go in the shower and I wash everything off, it looks a little bit more even. There's like these weird patches all over my body. Like there's this huge swath like right here on both arms that I completely miss. So we'll see how that turns out. The last thing I wanna point out is I read that spray tans can sometimes smell. Um, this is my first experience doing this, so I don't really know what the natural smell is supposed to be, but my skin doesn't smell that great. I do not like it on here. I really just wanna like wash it off and feel clean. So yeah, I'm going to hop in the shower right now and scrub all this off my body. And then I'm gonna redo my makeup and try to get like my foundation to match whatever my neck looks like. And then I'll be back. All right, so I'm out of the shower. I washed all the brown off of me. Honestly, as soon as I stepped under the water, I started like bleeding brown. Um, it got all over the shower again after I'd already cleaned it, but this time it like came off a little bit easier. So I did like a whole scrub down of my body and I got out and I redid my makeup and tried to get my neck to match my face a little bit. So hopefully Hopefully that worked. But yeah, this is what my skin looks like post shower. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks right now. I think that a lot of the streakiness and splotchiness is gone. Um, there are like a little bit under my armpit here and like this patch here never got color and same on the other side. So I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt and hope that people don't notice that. Other than that, everywhere else looks pretty good. Like my arms look good, my chest, my back, my stomach and my legs, they all look pretty natural. I feel like if you didn't know me and you just saw me out and about, you wouldn't be like, oh, like that's fake tan. I feel like it looks like me in the summertime, except it's May and I haven't been in the sun yet. 
At this point in time, I'm really happy with the results. I feel like this is something I would definitely do maybe prior to a special event. Um, I do want to wait a couple days though and give more thoughts and opinions after I see like how it's fading, if it's going to be splotchy and streaky. And I also am really curious if over time it's going to transfer onto like clothing and sheets and stuff. Because if that happens, I'll probably be less likely to do it as often. But on the other hand, I have this really big bottle that I spent money on. It was $55. It's 34 fluid ounces. So I have to use that up before the seven months expires. So Maybe I'll just keep doing it because I don't want to waste my money. That seems like a terrible thing to say. And it's not that I'm unhappy with how it looks because I, I actually really do like how it looks right now, but it, it was a bit of an effort to put into doing this. I would definitely recommend anyone who's going to do this, pray yourself at night, let it dry, then go to sleep and wake up and shower it off because it was kind of annoying having to walk around all day and just be conscious about where I'm sitting and things that I'm touching because I was worried about transfer. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a couple days and see how it looks as time goes on and hopefully it fades naturally. It's been about eight days since I put the self tan on and now I just wanted to sit down and give a short little recap about how I thought the whole process was. First thing I wanna say is I completely forgot that the instructions said after 18 to 24 hours is when it starts to develop. So when I filmed that last clip, I was sitting here saying like, oh, I have a really healthy glow, I like the color. And then I went to bed and the next morning I woke up and my skin looked totally different. Like it was a couple shades darker. It was almost a little unnaturally dark. It looked like me at like the peak of summer if I had been out every single day. So it looked a little not right for May. That darker color lasted I'd say for about three days. And then after three days, I started noticing like little splotchy patches on my arms and a little bit on my legs. I'll insert some photos here. I don't know how easy it's gonna be to see it. Um, it's a lot easier to tell in person. So once that splotchy started to appear that's when the color started to fade away and by the time day five came around I was actually seeing so many splotches that I felt like other people were maybe gonna notice so I tried to go in the shower and exfoliate with a scrub and I didn't actually see much of a difference and even now on day eight I still have some coloring I still have like a pretty distinct tan line so it is lasting a long time but I also didn't do any sort of like upkeep or maintenance for the self tan I really just live my life like I normally would I was reading online that you're supposed to use lotion really frequently you're not supposed to take super hot showers you're supposed to wear clothes that are loose fitting and not tight when you get out of the shower you're supposed to pat yourself with a towel and not rub so yeah I ignored all of those rules so that's probably why I'm seeing all this splotchiness one last thing I want to mention I did not see any transfer of the color onto like clothing or sheets um, so that was really good so yeah that's the end of the video um, this was a review coming from someone who doesn't self tan frequently so I know it's not like the best review to watch I think I am gonna try this again because I have that really big bottle of solution um, and in the future I think I'm just gonna try to do more of the upkeep stuff and that way it'll last longer and not appear so splotchy thanks so much to anyone who decided to watch this video if you want to see any other videos I put up in the future go ahead and click subscribe and other than that, have a great day and I'll see you later.